Hey there, my friend Steve Gamlin here with the latest motivational firewood video. Today we'll be talking about the six back to school tips that I wish I had known when I was going back to school. And if you hang out till the end of the video, there is a special bonus web address where you can download these tips for yourself and your kids. Here we go. <laughs> Early days for any school year can be really tough on kids. Maybe it's your first year at a new school. Maybe you've moved and you're starting over without your friends. Maybe something happened on the first day that tagged you and made you a target of some bullies for the rest of the year. Here are six tips I've developed, and I sincerely hope that these bring value, bring clarity, and bring some relief to all of you, especially those with kids who might be struggling. So here we go. Tip number one, a few real friends are worth their weight in gold. When I was a teenager, I remember my grandfather saying, when you reach middle age, if you can count your real friends on one hand, you're actually doing pretty well. And at the time I thought, well, I've got all these friends and all these people that are part of my life every single day and thought it was always going to be that way. And I just tried to meet as many people as possible. And now in my late forties, looking back, I can count my real friends on one hand. And I do consider myself pretty lucky. So if you may not be a very popular person right now, if you may not know a lot of people, guess what? The people you know, the people you spend the most amount of time with, and the people who've got your back, those are the ones that really matter. Spend your time, spend your energy, focus on maintaining and making even stronger those relationships. Tip number two, what makes you different makes you awesome. There are so many people in school, especially in teenage years, who are just trying to look the part of everybody else, who are trying to wear what is popular, look popular, sound popular, act popular. You know what really stinks about that? Everything looks and sounds the same. You don't stand out. What makes you different makes you unique. It makes you awesome. It makes you who you really are. So please don't try to conform. Don't change your, your style. Don't change your attitude. Don't change your actions just to fit in. Be yourself. And that's good enough. Your real friends will dig it. Tip number three, the only person you need to impress is yourself. So many people get caught up in what's going on out there and getting noticed that sometimes they fall under the spell of the popular people, and they say and do things that they would not normally do themselves in the guise of impressing other people and being accepted. You know what your integrity tells you to do. You know what your mind and your heart tell you to do. Do those things as best you can. Get better at what you do best and make sure it stays in alignment with who you really are. You don't need to impress anybody else. You just need to be the best version of you that's possible. Tip number four, some will be smarter, some will be faster, some will be more popular, none will be you. If you play in sports, there's always going to be somebody better than you are. In math class, someone's going to be smarter than you are. But guess what? You have gifts. You have all the gifts that make you pretty dang incredible. Use those gifts. Don't ever judge or compare yourself to other people. Like this person is smarter than me. This person is better looking than me. This person is more popular than I am. You are you. Take your gifts, run them as best you can. You know what? Maybe you won't be the fastest person on the team, but you could be the most something on the team. You could be the hardest working. You could be the most dedicated. You could be the most loyal. You could be the person that makes everyone else better by being supportive. Use your gifts. And as many people have said, the only person you actually need to be better than is the person you were yesterday. Tip number five, know what is right and wrong and live by it. Too many people are out there doing the wrong things. They know it's wrong. They know it's wrong when they're doing it or when they're saying it, but they do it anyway because they feel peer pressure from outside. And there is a lot of pressure these days but I challenge you to know your internal compass, know your integrity, what it will let you do and what it will tell you is wrong. Don't do the wrong stuff. The outcome is not going to be good. You can stain your soul by doing the wrong things right now. And if you do a serious enough wrong thing, it could hound you the rest of your life. Live by your internal compass. 
If you're feeling pressure to do something wrong, talk to somebody. Don't just do something because it will make you more popular. It will make you accepted. You only owe yourself an explanation. Tip number six, make yourself proud. There are so many people out there that say, well, I need to make this person proud of me or I want to make this person proud of me. The only person you really owe it to is yourself. If you work as hard as you can, use your mind as best you can, use your heart to care about other people the best you can, you make yourself proud, other people will be proud of you just by watching you. They will be inspired by you because you stay true to yourself and you work hard. That's the secret of winning at life, working hard and recognizing your efforts. Celebrate the rewards, even if you just high five yourself in the mirror. Make yourself proud with every decision that you make. And I hope these six tips have helped you out because as I've learned 20 plus years down the line, not much else has really mattered. If you'd like to have these six tips for yourself, it's very simple. Go to this website, Back to School Tips. That is the number two, backtoschooltips.com. You can sign up there and receive this download in your email. Thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely hope it has brought some value your way. And I wish you all the best as you or your family members are headed back to school. Be well. Hey there, it's Steve with one more quick message. We've made it even easier for you to access the back to school tips. There's a button right over there. Click on that, it'll take you to the page to enter your email and receive them in your inbox. And if you'd like to have access to more motivational firewood videos just like this one, there's a subscribe button over there as well. Take care and once again, thank you for being a part of my journey.